This is my dad, uh, trainer for E3 Basketball Academy, worked in Novartis for uh, over 20 years, and he's going to uh, explain how basketball has changed over time. Okay, basketball's changed over time through many different areas. The first area I would say for high school basketball, I think years ago um, here in Indiana, we had class basketball, and then it changed from class to uh, one single class to multiple classes. And I think that uh, really made a big change because more teams were able to compete for high school state championships. Um, I think now, because of the parity that you can see, a 2A school could be a 4A school, a 1A school could be a 3A school. I think we really should go back to one single class. But I think it's evolved because I think the talent level is very equal over across the board. You might have one or two or three at the most uh, high level ball players on each team and that makes it a more parable or more, more uh, equal amongst all schools. When you look at college, I think that's even very similar to what high school is now because you just don't know who could win the national championship this year. Duke won, but everyone thought Kentucky was going to win because they had a loaded team. And I think what ends up happening is as players go on to the NBA at an early age, teams can't progressively get better because their top talent moves on to the NBA. NBA now, it's very equal as well because I think the talent level has, has so there's no one individual superstar that can dominate any game, such as years ago Shaq could dominate a game. Michael Jordan could dominate a game, but right now we don't have any one player uh, that can just take over and win games consistently. Um, so I think the what's ended up happening is over the years, years ago we had skilled players. Now we have more athletic players because of sports performance and training. Uh, I think athletes are getting better nutrition, so they're getting bigger and stronger. Um, but I'd say years ago uh, they were more skilled. Uh, if you have a skilled player and an athletic player, you've got the best of both worlds. So you, you find a couple of those in, in every uh, once every blue moon where they're skilled and they're athletic, such as uh, Michael Jordan. Uh, Kobe is a skilled and an athletic ball player. Um, Russell Westbrook is an athletic player, but not necessarily a, a high-level skilled guy. But uh, you find every one of those every now and then. So I think over the course of time, we started out where athletes were skilled and now they became more athletic. High school where teams were dominating then they we, we sort of went to the class basketball. Now actually I think we could go back to one single class because any school could be any school. So uh, overall that's what I, my, I believe the, the difference in time has been for basketball.